I guess if we already hadn't given out the uh, Monster Athlete of the Week to Marquise Noel on Monday, we would give it out to Will Levis right now because you just take a look at his arms. He's a monster. He said that he was going to go throw at the combine because he's got ca- he's got a cannon. He wants to show it off. Well, today he has two of them. He looked more rocked up yep. today than he did at the combine. Uh, agreed. And I, I don't know. Did he? Did he? Did he get all greased up for the combine? Did he put something oh, on bodybuilding? I don't know, man. There, man. Yeah, I don't know. Because I didn't see it, that. He was letting it fly too. Now, there's more of a workout at the combine. I, I mean, at your pro day in the combine, because you got 50, 60 reps and you're doing them fast, doing them quick. The combine, you're like, throw one, throw two, throw three, back of the line. So, at any rate, boy, did he look the part today. He's almost 6'4. He's got his hands are 10 and 5 eighths, which is massive. I mean, like, the, you can lose the ball in, your hand, in his hand. Yeah. Gigantic. Hand. Right. So. I'd love for him to go to the um, AFC North, which means twice a year he'd shake Kenny Pickett's hands and he'd go, wow. <laughs> Come on. Why you gotta I do don't know why he had to catch why, a straight. I don't know. Why you got to do Pickett like that, man? Sorry. That's messed up. No, because last year the conversation was about his uh, hand oh, hand over size. Over and over again. Right now, yeah. and you're talking about just as a comparison. Um, and so I, I facetiously mentioned to Tom Pelissero, my colleague at the NFL Media Group, that the Carolina Panthers contingent that took Bryce Young out to dinner – the day of C.J. Stroud's Pro Day, they went from Columbus, Ohio at C.J. Stroud's Pro Day and went directly to Tuscaloosa, Alabama and took Bryce Young out to dinner. And then on Bryce Young's Pro Day, we assumed, I guess you're going to go to Kentucky and take Will Levis out to dinner that night in the same way you took out C.J. Stroud out to dinner before his Pro Day. So how it goes is basically you fly in to uh, Prospect A's place take him out to dinner, watch Prospect A do Pro Day, fly to Prospect B that night, take him out to dinner, watch Prospect B's Pro Day, then fly to Prospect C's Pro Day location, take him out to dinner. And if Will Levis didn't get the dinner invitation, you know he's off the radar screen. Well, guess what? That Tepper credit card is doing some bad work. Nice. Will Levis did have a dinner. All right. My question is if he doesn't think he's going for it, if Carolina doesn't really want to take him, if he feels that way, do you just order the the uh, Screaming Eagle and just go for it? Yes. Right? Screaming Eagle, by the way, it's the vineyard of Stan Kroenke. Very expensive. Um, it, it, it's thousands of dollars. Do you just shoot the moon? Let me tell you something. Back in the day, John Walsh, legendary executive of ESPN, I'd always dreamt of working for ESPN and being taken to a meal by an ESPN executive. Mm -hmm. He took me to my first ever meal given by an ESPN executive. Differences in my mind's eye, I thought it would be just like what these guys are doing, you know, with the Teppers. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, Dinner for 10, 15, just to to honor, you know, me. And uh, it it would be a glorious meal. Clearly, I wasn't thinking straight. (laughs) One-on-one executive, he took me to some greasy spoon diner Mm. that was down the road from Bristol, Connecticut's location of ESPN and I looked at the meal and I said to myself I looked at the menu all right this guy's gonna at least spend ten dollars on me for lunch okay because the the tuna the tuna sandwich I'm gonna get was like 495 and the fries were gonna like so I so I kept on ordering one soda after another to make sure it was ten dollars meal comes and basically it was free refills eight dollars is what the man spent on me and I tried I tried I tried. <laughs> so if you're Will Levis, Screaming Eagle. Rich, we can get a 2001 let's go. Let's go. Uh, cab for 4900 Let's go for it. But they did take him to dinner, so he's got to be in the mix. And then he showed up all greased up and he's throwing 90-yard passes. Bam. Honestly, he made Ed Hockley look like Bazooka Joe. <laughs> Bazooka Joe. That's my analogy for really thin individual. Well uh, it's an old gum. <laughs> like me. Comics on the inside. They're good. Yeah. So, Carolina, guess what? Take a day off, go to Gainesville, and take Anthony Richardson out to dinner because his pro day is Monday. Catch the Rich Eisen Show every single day on the Roku channel, 12 to 3 Eastern, for free.